Hi, this is Shadi and I just came back from the training camp with former world champion Hiroyuki Akimoto and Darcel Yonzi. It was an amazing uh, training camp. We worked mainly uh, sweeps with uh, Yonzi and a lot of grip fighting basics, subtle details and also Neiwaza with Akimoto and he even talked to us about the importance of Neiwaza and how they train it in Japan and it's almost 50-50 for them in Japan to train Neiwaza because um, the first day was Yanzi and the second and third day was Akimoto um, when the manager of the training camp or the one that was organizing he said that you know take a break and then we start Neiwaza Randori and it was an international camp there was people from you know the Netherlands uh, Italy, uh, USA, etc., etc., and they all had pretty much the same reaction, which was "ah." So it really says a lot about how a judoka views the Neiwaza Randori. So we ended up rolling. Um, it was great. I even uh, rolled with Sensei Akimoto uh, myself. It was an honor. It was amazing. I found out the way they spar in Japan. It's I've seen several example it's kind of like the calm before the storm and the moment you have an opening or you try to go for something they take advantage of it and boom it's game over and it was an honor for him he just uh, got top game and it was so tight I could not escape um, I really enjoyed this training camp and when he sat us down and talked to us about the importance of Neiwaza it's almost what I've been stressing on this channel, so it really uh, reconfirmed my beliefs in judo and how it really should be. So it was something that, uh, you know, a very eye opening and I really enjoyed it. So which brings me to the subject of this uh, video, which is the key to a bulletproof guard. You know, you can also apply the same logic to a takedown, you know, if you are a judoka and the answer is pretty simple and that is really polish your basics you know it seems really simple but what do I mean by that you know everyone would say well yeah you need to learn your basics before you know you have something really good but that's not what I actually mean because if you see in this footage you see Hicks and Gracie and Elio Gracie rolling um, Hicks and Gracie is really known for you know mastering jiu-jitsu honing it perfecting it invisible jiu-jitsu and Hickson himself says I'm just teaching uh, what Grandmaster Elio Gracie um, was teaching but it's mainly judo I mean the 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 subtleties of the closed guard the subtleties of the mount uh, the subtleties of the sight control all of that is just Japanese judo but you know after decades of training Hickson really honed them and perfected them and that's why he is considered a genius so that's why the basics are so important for example as a beginner it's very easy and it's almost inevitable um, to get mesmerized by the rubber guard uh, the mission control you see people of 10th planet with this flexibility and dexterity and it encourages you to stretch do this stretching routine to have this hip and groin um, flexibility so you can do these uh, rubber guard mission control etc etc um, it sounds so appetizing and so uh, tempting that we all do them we all uh, attempt them when we roll but here's the thing if your closed guard sucks chances are your rubber guard will suck too if you are someone who jumps gets the closed guard and immediately gets passed chances are your rubber guard will have the same result so enjoy the time learning the basics uh, the basic guard pass uh, the closed guard how to maintain it guard retention how to attack from the closed guard um, even if you are in a closed guard how to keep your posture open uh, straight uh, etc there's so many subtleties uh, in applying an armbar from the guard 
that it's really truly amazing i mean we've done so many arm bars from guard as white belts and even up to you know second third degree black belts but there's always details to it there's always a far more subtle way of doing it um this is what's genius about the basics the setup is almost invisible that's why hickson calls it invisible jujitsu in the first place because you know you are doing these things that are you know only the the ma the really educated sees what you're doing but your opponent will not see them and i've talked about how i purchased uh you know the self-defense uh course of hickson and before it i had zero top game now i'm you know passing some guard and getting side control and attacking the stuff that hickson taught and till now in judo and jujitsu no one saw what i was doing and eventually caught them so it really shows uh, the subtleties of the basics and how truly amazing they are you know i would prefer you know a basic side control and attack from it uh, rather than you know just spinning out and doing all these flexible things even you know guard attacks uh, if your open guard sucks uh, your lapel squid guard whatever keenan is teaching will suck too that's why in his application he always goes through the basics really quickly before he uh, explains the squid guard or the worm guard he always uh, starts with open guard so if your open guard sucks and it gets passed almost instantly you know chances are of you grabbing a lapel tying it around your leg his leg and you know doing the magic it's not gonna happen so enjoy your time working your open guard um try to learn how not to get past uh same thing with you know the lockdown 10th planet if your half guard sucks you know your lockdown your sweeps the whip down all that stuff will also be irrelevant and terrible and i'm speaking from experience it was very tempting to me to go and try these things and i just got smashed um, the same with throwing in judo i learned you know fancy entries from lucy de cos uh, cause in way etc for particular throws and i would just get reversed because the basics how to move how to uh, you know open the lapel the sleeve etc i had no idea what was going on and i just got reversed and i got no technique and it's very dangerous because you know you do a mission control you are flexible but you get past or lapel guard um, and you get past etc and i would like to think that we are all ambitious um all of us practicing and we start to you know we are our worst critics you start to think oh my god i suck maybe this isn't for me i'm not talented no it's because you haven't did you haven't done your basics uh, right yet to, to your you know 80 percent or 90 percent before switching to those uh, more advanced and you know fabulous looking guards or fabulous looking throws just learn your basics this is what we worked in uh, Newaza. just basics but he gave us so many details to them that it really revolutionizes your game when it comes to throwing you know foot positioning etc can really help even though you know you are pulling it off in randori a little bit of additional detail for a throw really revolutionizes it and makes it almost bullet proof so the key to a bulletproof guard is honing the basics if you want to transition to a more sophisticated guard learn what the foundation of that guard is and master it before transitioning for example i like to play squid guard I have to be really good at open guard uh, or you know sit sit up guard uh, you know de la riva etc before i even attempt to grab a lapel and start you know playing and rolling and doing these bearing bolos uh, if i want to do rubber guard or gubber guard with the gi i need to have a very strong and closed closed guard because other than that it's not gonna work and i'm gonna get smashed and i have gotten smashed i'm rolling almost every day and i made so many mistakes and now i'm just simply fascinated with the basics fascinated with little details that no one can see only you can do them and they are the setup 
uh, it's not like a big spin in order to set up for a move it's little details that trust me no one will see that will get you the win that will get you the kill and you don't need some crazy flexibility dexterity uh, groin flexibility uh, or crazy strength for a throw you just need these subtle details and the basic footwork and the basic setups and trust me you will have a bulletproof guard slash bulletproof throw because trust me there's nothing more appealing and nothing more genius than invisible steps and setups uh, that no one will see and you get that upon or the tap almost instantly i've experienced it very recently and trust me it's the best thing ever this was shady and thank you for listening